Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nirinjana from Leo Tales. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you guys my favorite lipsticks of 2018. So this will include mostly new shades and some other favorites of mine as well. Most of them are available in India and all the links will be in the description box. You can check that out. So my skin tone is like fair to medium and I have a bit of a pigmented lips also. And my kind of nudes are usually mauves and like brown swings, etc. So anyway, let's take a look at those shades and let me know which are your favorites. So the first one is the AOA Diamond Lip Gloss in the shade Gypsy. It has a beautiful purplish kind of shimmer to it. It is non-sticky and it works well on my dry lips, especially when I'm using matte lipsticks. I love the effect it gives on my lips on top of the lipstick. This is the shade Catwalk Killer by Huda Beauty Demi Matte. Now this is a beautiful deep mauveish kind of shade and the texture is very good for dry lips it is a bit transferable but i love how it is non-drying on my lips and it gives a very matured kind of look for you a good office wear kind of shade this is one of my all-time favorites it is the shade first of all by colourpop ultra satin liquid lipstick i have worn this over and over in several videos and a lot of you guys have loved it the texture is a bit sticky and a bit transferable but the color is a beautiful pink. It is not like on your face kind of pink, but a very matured kind of pink and it looks absolutely lovely on my skin tone. I love the shade to bits. Next is Sephora Lip Stories. It is available in India also. They have three ranges, matte, glossy and metallic. The one that we have here is matte and the shade is Labyrinth City. Even though it is matte, it is kind of creamy on the lips and it is non-twine. And in one swipe, the color payoff off is really good. It has a deep brownish, uh, burnt orange kind of shade. This is my go-to nude shade for daily wear and I love it how it looks on me. Another favorite of mine is the Peripera Ink Velvet, the shade Celeb Deep Rose. Now this is neither glossy nor fully creamy and it's a mix of a lot of colors, brown, orange, red. It's like a chameleon shade that changes from skin tone to skin tone. On my skin tone it looks a bit orangish uh, but in daylight it looks a little different actually. It is a bit more brownish and this is again a very comfortable formula and I absolutely recommend this shade to you guys. Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Nude Elude. It is neither matte nor glossy but it is a non-drying kind of formula which transfers also. Again the color is, it's a beautiful nude shade. It is sort of like brownish and it will be a good nude for those who do not love the deep brown and pinkish mauves. I love this color. Next shade is again by L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is the shade Statement Nude and this is the nude shade for typical nude lovers. It is sort of uh, like a washing out kind of shade for maybe deeper skin tones. But for fair to medium skin tones, this is that perfect lipstick that you would wear when you don't want to look like you're wearing lipstick. That is exactly how I should explain this shade. Again, a very comfortable wear and this is a nice shade. Next is the Bella Roast Nude Matte Lipstick Enriched with Argan Oil in the shade 04 Wine Fever. Now the texture is matte, uh, not exactly drying like a liquid lipstick but yes, a bit drying and uh, can be a bit patchy if not applied completely. But then the shade is very pretty, although a bit washing out kind of shade for deeper skin tones but for light to medium skin tones, this is a good daily wear kind of nude shade. Next is again by Bella Bos. This is their matte lipstick in the shade Twilight Zone. It also comes with a lip liner as their lip kit which you can find on their website. So this shade is like a reddish um, brownish kind of nude. Although on camera it looks a bit bright, it is more deeper and it will be like a, um, let's say a good party wear color and it kind of shows up and brightens up your face. So this is a very pretty shade. Now next is this beauty by Colourpop. It is the shade Still Crazy. It is their Lux or the Luxe range. It has all these uh, stars in it and the formula is really very very creamy. Now the shade is a bit light on my pigmented lips. Maybe with a lip liner you will get a better definition. However, this is a very feminine kind of shade and it brings a glow to your face. So for that reason, I love the texture as well as the colour payoff. So next is one of the new launches by Sugar Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick. The shade is Dose of Rose 38. Um, the shade looks a bit bright on my face. Like um, 
it's a bit drying formula wise because it's a liquid lipstick but it is uh, yeah it's it's not a very deep color but let's say it's a very pretty color and uh, you know it adds a pop of brightness to your face it's a nice feminine color to wear and yeah it's good next is again sugar smudge me not liquid lipstick but the shade is a lot different it is the shade 37 hot apricot this is more like a burnt orange kind of shade uh, this is more like an experimental shade for me something that is like nearly out of my comfort zone but i like it uh, again as you can see on the picture that is the actual color it is not as fluorescent as you see on screen right now it is again a beautiful orange shade which is not very over the top now we'll take a look at some more expensive lipsticks the first one is the huda beauty liquid matte in the shade trophy wife this is a universally acceptable nude shade i guess it's a pinkish mauveish kind of shade and the formula well first of all it smells like chocolate and the formula is not drying it can be a bit transferable also but the shade is so beautiful reapplication is easy without any patchiness and this is one shade that i always reach out to when i want to look you know pretty and feminine next is a very famous liquid lipstick by kat von d and the shade mother so this is a sort of like a cool toned pink i would say it may wash out deeper skin tones now because it's a liquid lipstick the formula is a bit drying so you have to prep your lips before again it's a very bright color and even with the pigmentation on my lips it does show up in one swipe so the color payoff is good and yeah it's a bright pink color a bit patchy but yeah manageable Next is Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mauve Wife. Despite being matte, it has a very creamy kind of formula which is not at all drying. In fact, it doesn't settle into your fine lines or anything and it is transferable also. But the shade is really pretty. It is like a, um, like a reddish, peachish kind of nude, I guess. It is a bit glossy also because of the texture. However, I like it because the application is easy. And this is a kind of shade that I would like to wear also. So next is by the Balm Cosmetics, the Meet Matte Hue Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Romantic. What I have here is a tiny sample. You will get the full size on Nykaa. So this is the shade Romantic. It is a bit darker. Again, not a nude shade category, but I love the shade. It is neither pink nor red, but something in between. A very unique kind of shade, which will be very good for bridal wear also. I love how it looks on me. So next is by ABH, it is the matte lipstick in the shade Dead Roses, a very famous nude shade and this will probably the most nude shade that I have ever used. It looks a bit darker on my hand but once I applied it on my lips it felt almost like I have no lipstick on. Uh, the thing is it's a bit drying, can be a bit patchy on application so you have to exfoliate and moisturize your lips in advance but yeah, it looks so natural that there is no lipstick on your lips. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite shades. I would like to know that. For me, it's very hard to pick one. All of these are my favorites. Yet the Colourpop, first of all, Sephora, Lip Stories, Labyrinth City. These are some of my all-time favorites. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will meet soon with another. Until then, take care. Bye.